born at 11, 12 p.m. 11 plus 12. 23. My birthday, 23. Driver's license, social security number. It's all 23. Sif, it's imitating my life. Uh, Corey, my, my, my name has five letters in it, right? But if you add 18 to it, it's 23. Crazy how that works, huh? So the movie is about Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey's reading this book. And when he's in normal life, he is a dog catcher and goofy Jim Carrey. But when he reads the book, he becomes Colin Farrell, saxophone playing detective. It was interesting the whole time. I, ne I was never really bored. But overall, this, this was just silly. But it's not a horror movie. It's trying to say in the trailers, ooh, this is going to be scary. It's going to be creepy. And it's not. It's, but it is kind of fun. I really, really, really like this movie until he gets to chapter 23, which is the big twist in the movie. And the movie realizes that it's not a weird, creepy movie and goes, oh yeah, this is a Hollywood thriller and it's going to take 20 minutes to explain why this is the end of this movie. It took 23 minutes to explain what was going on. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Maybe there is something to this. I mean, the way they were going on about the number 23, I thought like Jim Carrey was going to actually have to fight the number 23 itself at the end of the movie. I think a lot of people are going to be asking how is Carrey in this. And he does do a good job. I'm just not really sure he looks like the type of guy who should be in these type of movies at all. He's a likable looking guy. You're like, oh, he looks like he's a clown. That's the point. He's supposed to be the goofy dad who gets obsessed and starts losing his mind. What is 23? Is it... God? Two divided by three. Point six six six. Six six six. Number the devil. <coughs> There are only 22 chapters in the book of Revelations. We all know how that ends. You know, I'm just now finding out that this is directed by Joel Schumacher. The guy who gave us nipples on the bat suit, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. How many bat suits had nipples on them? Well, three if you count Batgirl. And when was Batman and Robin, the worst Batman movie ever made, released? June 20th. Now, what is 20 plus 3? Huh? Huh? You know what, man? Screw y'all. Shut up.